plants on the Brassicaceae family, and we have uh, several of them here. Most of them are not winter hardy, but they provide a lot of nutritious forage and they provide a lot of cover. As you can see, all of these brassicas, turnip, hybrid, radish, rape, mustard, and camelina, they all have a complete cover of the soil. Turnips have a, a root. They can get pretty big, especially if the population is sparse or is in a mixture. So we usually like it, but only if the farmer is planning to graze in the fall. And the reason is these roots might not decompose in the spring, can get caught on the disc of a planter so they could have a problem. So if the farmer does not have a cattle and is not planning to graze a cover crop, we prefer that do not use turnips. Hybrid Winfred is actually a variety. It was developed for forage and the yield of biomass is the highest one of all of these. And the other thing too is very frost tolerant. If you're gonna have grazing, this is one that you want to have. Radish is more common use in cover crops, especially for farmers and they don't have beef cattle and they're using the cover crops to improve soil health. Behind me here, we have a rape. It has a very good tap root. It does a lot of good things for the soils. Mustards are not good for grazing, but mustards have the ability of exudate some compounds that are toxic to diseases and nematodes. Winter camelina is the last brassica we have. It's one of the, the only really broad leaf that survives the winter in this area and provides a broad leaf cover crop that we can use ahead of corn. Brassica plants have a tap root system, so they can scavenge a lot of residual nutrients, especially nitrate from the soil, and move it up to the surface. They will get winter killed and that nitrogen will go into the soil for the next crop. This is a very heavy clay soil. It's important to break those compaction layers produced by tillage or just the nature of the soils that they get really hard when they dry. You don't want cattle to graze only on forasicas because it's too digestible, too much water, so they need supplement with fiber. And that's why for grazing, they're using in mixtures. One important thing of brassica cover crops is if you're in a northern area where the canola is grown or you have canola in your rotation, you should not grow any of these brassica cover crops because they're susceptible to a disease called club root, which is a soil-borne disease, and all these plants will carry that. So you don't want to have a brassica cover crop if you have canola in your rotation.